Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Zwift Community Live broadcast of Zwift Community Chat. This is where we talk about the latest things going on in the community out on Zwift and bring in guests to talk about all the awesomeness that they're doing on the platform that is Zwift. With the launch of Run last week, we thought it'd be uh, cool to talk about all that might be uh, getting passed over by some of the community or just not um, known about in the community that's going on with running right now. There's a lot of things that um, are just not on my radar uh, up front as being mainly a cyclist and mainly it's a lot of the things that we've seen in Zwift so far have been cycling. There's a lot of events going on obviously around that, but there is this growing and very active um, part of Zwift now that now I'm starting to get a great understanding of after just having a little bit of a chat here in our uh, preset, our setup here just now with Mr. Stephen Cousins. I'm going to welcome into the broadcast Stephen Cousins, who's been a part of uh, the running and Zwift, Zwift cycling, as well as running community for quite a while, actually. Welcome to the program, Stephen. How's it going? Uh, having a, Hello, I think it's uh, evening right. over there. It is, yeah. It's 8 o'clock. The kids are in bed. Hopefully, I won't have any Nathan-esque kids running in behind me to uh spoil the party <laughs> that's always uh almost welcome though um bringing in <laughs> probably have a little uh, okay we'll leave that one alone we've, we've been harping on the lava boy for a little bit too much but um uh, those are always that well those are almost welcome for me at so at some points with some comedic like relief, escapist as we can be a little bit and, yeah i got you a little I've bit too you. serious sometimes a little bit too much going on but uh steven welcome to the program if you guys real quick if you have any questions comments whatsoever uh bring them into the broadcast through the facebook post we're already getting some coming in here lee probably asking is nathan going to run so i actually uh answered that question uh in the latest swift cast you get a look at this room in the latest Zwift cast. Actually, I'm spoiling it. Maybe Simon might be mad at me right now, but um, we, uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to, but I am, I want to, I want to, I'm not sure we're going to be able to, but I'm, I definitely want to. I'm going to need a shed. What, Eric, what are Eric's you, already been on. What are you in there? Eric's already Steven, been on. Like what's your, what's your, um, okay. Set up. You know, uh, you know how we talk about the pain cave. Yeah. And, uh, for years, I was cycling in the kitchen on my kicker on my bike in the kitchen. I remember that. I and, think uh, I had videos of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I <laughs> oh, you've, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me pootling along at two point five watts per kilogram at the back of the uh, Thursday night. Right? Yeah, I know. Anyway, so I eventually I got when I got my treadmill, I I thought, well, listen, I'll just take over the shed. So I shifted as much of the gardening equipment out of the shed as I could it literally is falling apart and when it rains i've got so much tech gear in here i'm I'm scared to death that one day i'm just going to press a button and nothing's going to turn on but at so the moment the shed stream the shed stream you know there's another yeah, guy who got stream. involved in live streaming who had a shed as well i don't know if you know about this but the uh, who, the shed who, stream who? thing is a whole thing <laughs> johnny johnny built the shed just really? for live streaming actually like that was like you mean, it was because it, it was taking over too much of the house like you were saying you're in your kitchen or you're in this space or that space isn't yeah, it funny yeah. how our zwift spaces can start taking over like, huge it's, yeah parts of the house yeah i know i used to have a recording studio years ago when i was a musician but and that's kind of gradually shrunk and my bike and treadmill and computer gear has expanded uh, but I wouldn't have had my music gear in the shed, I don't think. So let's do a quick little intro to your experience with Zwift. How long have you been Zwifting for, Stephen? So I started on Zwift in the early beta days. I think my first ride was February 15, something like that. I'm I'm using number 3000 and something, so I'm not yeah, one of the very we're the first. Same, I think me and you are actually the same... We had, um, we started around the same time, didn't we? Run like Something when they like, like they did an initial, and then they did another uh, invite, and I think we were part of the same uh, yeah, invite yeah. round in February because right and around Julian the same Washington exact time. As well. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So, yeah. um, so the I legend start, named so Stephen Cousins coming in from Melum uh, no, Melum no, no, Sether, no, no. Melum Sether coming in. Uh, <laughs> oh, Ollie. Christian. Yeah, yeah, Ali. 
you see, you'll, chat. you'll find all the regular runners start popping on now and saying hello. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So I started on. I know I started in February 2015, and I started. I'm not a cyclist, but I started cycling to improve my running as just like some kind of cross training thing. Now I really got into Zwift, and I've just been doing. I, you know, a few summer breaks occasionally, but. I've pretty much done it solidly ever since. And the, the only problem is now that running has started, and I'll explain in a second, running's actually been going for quite a while. But um, now that running has started, my cycling has just dropped off. I don't think I've done a race for three months. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, so I'm not even going to be, I'm not even gonna be cat C now. How, how often do you run on Zwift then? Well, uh, well, listen, running started as like an alpha, alpha, alpha program in december 2016 i ran a marathon on zwift in december 2016 so oh it's goodness. been going okay. as a as a as a secret project that long and it it's been kind of added to and and you know little improvements have been made here and there for for over a year now so we're, we're now literally now at the stage where it's at, a, at, a, at a, such a stage where it's good enough it's not finished. I mean, you know, cycling, it's, it's, it's constantly developing and improving. Same will happen, is happening with running. And, but we're now at a stage where, you know, Zwift felt it's, it's good enough to say, okay, here we go, you know? Gotcha. Right on. So actually, wow, there's so much to talk about then there. And um, let's go then into features. Like what are the features that you're go-to when it comes to running, because I think that people don't even know what all exists there that you go after. Um, we have a lot of photos that we're going through here, but when you think of running, so you can just log in and just start running like you do with cycling, right? Like there's, there's open world running. Yeah. And it's free at the moment. So, um, in the in the early days it would be uh, you know computer gaming you know computers that you have these easter eggs little secret kind of ways into stuff yeah and so running used to be an easter egg that not many people knew about to get into now when you go to the login screen if you're a cyclist you know all this you go to your login screen if you don't know anything about zwift you you just you just log on to the program press login and you get to a pairing you get to a screen which says run or ride so you click on run or ride so Obviously, at the moment, I, I'm clicking show on that run right now. Actually, okay. since yeah, yeah, go um, for it. Because I have a feeling that people might not even know who are familiar with Zwift, like that. That now is it's, a different world now, as far as yeah, the, yeah. Um, the way that you log into Zwift and connect with running. So I'm just going to bring that right on up. But go ahead, go on. Yeah. So, um, so now that's that's available to everyone. And if, if you're a subscriber already, running is just an added extra that you've got. If you're not a subscriber, um, running is free. You'll get, you can get a free cycling trial, but running is currently completely free. No trial, no limit. Um, so you can, you can get on there as long as you've got access to a treadmill. So, you know, some people have them at home. I know in the States, they tend to be more kind of prevalent at home. A lot more people have got them at home in the States than they have in the UK. And really? Have I don't you know about that? the rest of Europe. Yeah, well, this is the this is the feedback I'm getting. More people do seem to have them and it's a kind of standard thing in their home in the States. I don't know. I mean, you would you probably know better than me. Well, I've, I'm not, yeah, so I, I haven't been screen. in a lot of homes. I haven't been in the homes in the UK, so I have no clue. <laughs> you don't go looking through people's garages. <laughs> in the UK, <laughs> no. But right here, I haven't even clicked over here. Look at how informed oh, I am, on, everybody. come on, Nathan. What Look are you this. doing? Look at what are you doing, mate? <laughs> so, right. a whole new pairing screen, just so everybody knows. Okay, so a whole new pairing screen, right. So in the same way that you um, you need um, a device to give you speed uh, in cycling, you need a device to give you speed or pace in running. So that box there that you're um, mousing over, um, that will select what source you're using for Zwift running. Now, this we could talk for hours and hours about this, Nathan. Uh, really? But basically, the, oh, God. This, what people tend to think is that it's your treadmill that connects to Zwift. And there are treadmills that connect to Zwift, either Bluetooth or, um, uh, or Amp Plus, but um, they're quite expensive treadmills and not many people are gonna have them. Um, the, the standard kind of accepted way to connect to it in its simplest form to Zwift is using a foot pod. 
So something like um, the Milestone Foot Pod. Hold on, let me bring that up. Is quite let me bring you up here. Let me bring you up full screen. Okay, here. okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. So this Milestone Foot Pod is kind of the cheapest thing, the most budget thing you can find. Where am I? Go that way. That's it. Very good. <laughs> and uh, that's that's about. I think that's about thirty dollars, thirty US dollars, maybe a little bit more than that. I can't remember. Um, that's the most budget way that you can get into Swift. You can use. A stride foot pod. This is the stride. It's on my shoe at the moment. That is kind of the most um, expensive, most uh, accurate way to measure your pace on Zwift. So it's that little Outside thing Outside of the like Just... smart, smart treadmill, it sounds like. There's like a smart treadmill or something now yeah, that yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about. This is, this is about $200 for this little thing that goes on your shoe here. Okay. It's called a stride. It's spelled S-T-R, S-T-R-Y-D. Actually, they've just released a budget version, which is $100 cheaper, I think, called the Stride Live. So a lot of people are going to start buying that just to run on Zwift. Um, and, well, there's, listen, there's a million other one ways that you can you can possibly connect. But, I, I you know, we just haven't got so time to pods, go into them all now. Pods, and there are treadmills that are out there as well. Uh, there are, those are the two there, main if you ways. really want to spend the money, yeah, if you want to really, really want to spend the money, you can buy you can buy a treadmill which connects via Bluetooth Um or AMP Plus, there are some that connect via AMP Plus to Zwift and will transfer data as, as pace to Zwift. So that could be your running source. Um, there's also something called a tread tracker, which is about $100, which is a little wheel that fits underneath the treadmill and also transmits Bluetooth. It, it reads the speed of the belt on the treadmill uh, and that transmits Bluetooth um, and that can, that can uh, direct your pace on Zwift as well. So there are quite a few, it can get quite complicated, but actually it's quite simple. A foot pod is what you need. Gotcha. Okay. okay? And that's what connects um, right here. It'll find it in your room yeah. with your A&T Plus dongle or on your yeah. iOS device. You can hook it up too through the that's Bluetooth it. as well. Okay. Yeah. And then that, that and, also uh, does your cadence too. That does your cadence it, it, too. It should most of them. Most of them will also connect as cadence as well. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then obviously of you've got, you got your heart rate monitor in the room. Yeah, so, yeah. So, good to go. yeah. There is. I'll just mention the ticker X, which if if you can be bothered to fiddle around with it because it is a bit uh, picky, but the ticker X will do everything. Um, it's not guaranteed to be super accurate. It will work. So if you don't want to buy a foot pod, if you already have a ticker X, stick it on as your heart rate monitor, but it will also do cadence and pace in Zwift. I have well. that. I have a ticker right here. I can run. <laughs> I can run on Zwift. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I have the ticker. Let's go. All go right. On. You know what? You know what's funny? This what? will be my first time ever logging in to run. For Zwift, I've never had my avatar it? standing. I've never had my avatar standing ever. I'm not sure a vision cycling kit. I'm not sure if I even get the vision kit. Oh boy. Go on, go on. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. You so know you do. Look, the we have a group run. Episode, okay, episode. let's talk about this. Yeah. Let's talk about this okay, part now, okay. okay? So now instead of seeing a bunch of cyclists, I now have a bunch of runners. At the, top, at the top, yeah, at the top, you'll have you'll have the runners obviously at the moment there are far more cyclists than runners but we're coming to get you boy and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can as you can with cycling you can just click on a runner and and join them it's best to be running at the time or you'll click to join them and they'll fly away from you and you're standing still uh, but yeah you can do that in the same way that you can can cycle and then it well looks like people. there's a 5k so, group oh, okay. going on too yeah, yeah. So, so uh, this is this is a relatively new addition, but it's gaining traction all the time. And uh, you know, we're seeing more and more. You can see this one has ten people joined already. There's more and more people uh, starting to join these group runs, which are going well, off at days, regular intervals. Ten, ten people. Yeah, early days. But, kind of early days. Yeah, yeah, That's not bad at all, actually. Like, um, well, I'd we be had happy um, with that for we, sure. We've we've had a few kind of advertised uh, group activity runs, uh, which have attracted ninety, a hundred runners. Wow! So okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. I mean, that's that good was it, well it, uh, in admission that Zwift were giving away free bottles and stickers if you attended. But think so, about think about <laughs> early days for our group events and our group races when we had fifty to a hundred. Sure, that yeah, was a yeah, hype yeah, broadcast. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? I remember, that was, yeah. and that yeah, was yeah. like months and months in. So that's that's pretty good for this close to launch, I think. So I do have a question coming through. Yeah. I'm going to answer because according to Lee Prouty, it was asked all the way back in 2015. How do you find your user number for Zwift? You have to go into your files. I believe it's in your documents. Uh, which file? It's in the files. CP. On CP. CP. Yeah, it's in your CP. CP. So it's in your CP file on your documents in your Zwift uh, in your Zwift folder and uh, it'll show you a user number in there. So, uh, all right. How should we do this? Should we just jump? Should we run with someone? Just push run. We'll just push run. It's going to put me go, wherever go. I don't I'm know on. what you're doing. You, you... Where is it going to put me? I'm going to make everybody no jealous. Idea. That's not level 10 here. We're going to do this road to route. Oh no, wait, where's a jungle loop jungle circuit. Here we go. Yep. See, I start right there. Ah, level 10, baby. Here we go. And there I am. And I'm not my vision and you're kit. Doing... No, they, no, they put me. I, I look like a noob. I'm a noob. Yeah, you're in basic. No. You're in basic run kit. Level, level one. Level one, baby. Level one. Look at you now. Level I'm going to go slay some boars, man, in the jungle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Let's look through. I feel so bad now. Where's the promo code? Okay. No, that is hilarious. <laughs> All right. Here's my user customization. Oh, I can go blue though. Look at all these yeah, locks. You could go blue. Oh, come on. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. All so, right. okay. I mean, if you don't know Zwift, it's, it is a, it is a game. You know, it's loads of other things, training tool, racing platform, but it is a game. So you um, will accumulate by the number of miles you run and the amount you run, you will accumulate uh, XP points. And uh, with those XP points, you get prizes. Oh, I so love it. To... I love it. <laughs> so you can part. you can unlock all sorts of gear, yeah, you know, sunglasses, hats, shoes, socks, hair, well, all that kind of stuff, you know. Why is my guy what's going on there? Why would there we go? He's 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 warming up. This is a new <laughs> thing actually. The, the avatar the avatar used to just stand there and do nothing and in the Look last silly. update just like uh, this. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. With cycling that was okay on. for the cyclist, I think, for some reason, because you kind of look cool just sitting there, standing on your on bike. The bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like but just standing there like this, runner. like as an avatar. Like I, I am ready to go. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the Oakleys. All right, here we go. Here, no hats because I'm a noob. Look at all this. Okay, so running. I've got now. Is this gonna change? Is this gonna stay? On my running avatar, and then I have you know a I don't cycling know. avatar. I, do, I, I think so, but I don't. I honestly don't know. Actually, I've never really taken that much notice to see whether my I cycling avatar is. is. I'd the be same surprised. My, it, yeah, it probably. I don't is. have a beard. I don't have a beard, yeah, so my yeah. my run running my run guy is going to be Forrest Gump. Okay, so we're going to do this. You're not the first, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so at all. But uh, we'll make my run guy. A Forrest Gump. He definitely wouldn't have these, dude. He'd have like, like these. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're good there. This is what this is what it looks like now. In this list, though, I see the cyclists, right? Too. Yeah, you do. So, okay, so you if you're just running as normal, you're not joining a workout, a group event, then yeah, you will see all the cyclists. They will they will crash into you, run over you, slap you on the back of the head, as as happens in real life. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so it you know, and uh, we all we all love each other very dearly. Um, but when you're in a group, when, when you're in a group run um, or, or a workout session, um, then you will only see the people who are in that session. So you only see the runners who you, who you're running with. So okay, if I put the ticker on the right hand side, and I okay, if, if I put, put the ticker on right, Stephen, let yeah, yeah. And and I go outside with my iOS device and start running. Yeah. Like I'm I'm talking about yeah. me. I'm too interested in myself and running now and getting this guy leveled up because I'm totally <laughs> I'm I... totally hijacking the broadcast and taking it. But that's good because I'm a new user to running and I'm like I want to know how the heck I'm gonna get this going now. Um, okay. Well, right. Let me tell. Okay. Let me tell you about the ticker X though. It will drive you around the bend because uh, okay. you have to. 
the, the thing about Ticker X is you have to go into the Wahoo app and you have to trick the, the Ticker X into run mode before it will be recognized by Zwift. Uh, so you have to start a run on the Wahoo app and then stop the run and close the app and, and then hopefully Zwift will pick it up. It's not the on ideal iOS. way to run. On iOS. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay on, no, no, no. On, well, on any platform. But, but yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're using Bluetooth, then it's going to be it's going to be iOS so it'll, or PC. Okay, so, so it'll actually route through my phone to Zwift? Is that what you're saying? Well, if you, yeah, if you, if, well, in the same way that you use Bluetooth through cycling, you, you yeah. use the ZML app. Um, okay. So you can have yep, a, Blue, yep. a Bluetooth source transmitting to a PC or a Mac yeah, through, yeah, gotcha. the, through the ZML app, yeah? But the, uh, the Wahoo app has so to the, put your yeah, ticker yeah. into run mode. Is that what you're saying? Into run mode. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's, it's a bit of a pain in the backside, and sometimes I've had it where sometimes I thought I've put it in run mode and it's not in. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, it holds. Once it's there, okay. it holds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Board pilot says I'll be back to try this out. Sounds good, board pilot. See, people are already getting excited about it. That's absolutely awesome. So, okay, wow, we got a lot. Okay, uh, what about run specific maps? Have any conversations about that? Now, of course, we don't want to disclose anything okay. we're not supposed to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, right. Well, just, just make sure we just keep things. No, like, you know. I, I would, I would say, in answer to that question, be excited. Awesome. Thank you. So we'll just leave it there. <laughs> and uh, it'd be interesting yeah. if on Watopia they bring in a new update or island that has a stadium that replicates a running track. Ooh. Yeah. I don't, uh, well, you see, I don't know about ring. that. No, you wouldn't like like a know. 400 well, meter right, so what are you doing? track running? Okay, so, 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 right, I'm in, I'm in the beautiful island of Watopia, right? I'm on that virtual world because I don't want to run on this boring damn <laughs> treadmill in a shed. I want an environment, yeah? And it's kind of the same when you go to a real world track. It's the goddamn track. You're running around 400 meters of track you know, doing your session. I, I want to be in somewhere interesting and exciting. So Watopia for me every time. I don't know, maybe it might be useful for like uh, group interval sessions where you want to keep everybody together. But, you know, if you get this, you know, the, like the rubber band effect that you have in cycling, if you, if you get that with running, you know, you might be able to kind of do an interval and then drag people back together for the rest period and then off again for the interval. It's, it's all about, you know, keeping people together and keeping the group thing going and the community thing going. Yeah, well, I mean, c competitive wise, though, I could see the track being pretty interesting. Like, what's here, the feeling? Well, what's the feeling of a cycle velodrome then? Yeah, yeah, I'm 100% with it, man. Repeatable, okay. short comp competitions is the heart of esports. Okay. Why CSGO? Okay. So incredibly popular because it's a quick round. It's over. It has an RNG factor of a little bit of a risk of the for the viewer to be committed to. I want this yeah, yeah. person or that person, and then it's because it, here's the thing. The reality is, why is Vegas popular? Because you have a short turnaround on risk and reward. Okay, so you need a short turnaround yeah, yeah. on risk reward. I think people would be really interested, especially okay. with running, because like it'd be like doing your pyramids on the treadmill thing. You know, you have that like do the yeah, pyramid yeah. run, you know, or whatever. And that yeah. has an up and a, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. It'd be like doing the pyramids, but with like requeuing over and over and over again with other people or something. I don't know. So okay, okay you've you've talked me into it. You've talked me into it. Let's have a running track. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, so you're gonna develop it now. Oh, no. You and John. You and John are gonna yeah. get together I'll, and uh, I'll just, just I'll put just it message, together. Yeah, message John. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Well, you know what John's like. Anything that takes his fancy. Oh, I think I'll do this today. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Shots fired, boys and girls. Shots fired. Okay, so. <laughs> Looking through here, um, let's talk about the other things. So we've talked about open world here. Then there's group runs, like you were you were talking about a little bit too. And I seen that you were running some sort of a a group run actually here. Let me see if I can get this going here. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit of Inception maybe here. Like, wait, is Stephen here or is he there? Or what's going on with him? Where am I? But uh, where is Stephen? That's the question. Okay, so here we go. Right here, we got him right here. And you were live with Zwift Community Live doing this. Yeah. If you've never seen Zwift before, welcome along. If you've never seen Zwift running before, 
This is what it's all about. Get yourself a foot pod, get on a treadmill. Let's get those numbers up on Zwift running. There's the beacon, okay, that's so, Tim. Steven, uh, what, uh, so what's going on here with the group run situation? Like you're running a, a group run, it looks like out on Zwift, similar yeah, yeah. to so, the cycling group rides. Exactly, yeah, and, 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 and it's growing and we're getting more and more of them. Um, at the moment, what we're what we're trying to do is we're ha we're trying to have kind of regular sessions. So and and they're spread out over time. So people um, on the east coast and in LA uh, or in Australia, they'll get their time zone run. Um, but it kind of started with leaders like me and a guy called Tim Gross and John Hancock, um, who started leading runs. And we're out of the UK, so it tended to be kind of European time. Um, and Monday evenings, uh, Wednesday evenings, and Saturday mornings, um, there are regular scheduled group runs with group leaders. So you can see in the same way it's cycling, the group leader has a beacon above his head, um, and, and we can either do a, a progressive run session where we get faster and faster, or we can do interval sessions, or we can just do you know a fun 10K where we all just run together and, and keep social. Um, uh, you, you know, it's 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 grown all the time. This particular one uh, on Zwift Community Live was kind of a, an advertised run. I think Zwift wanted to get some footage of runners in big packs of runners because they were leading up to advertising Zwift Run before it went live, proper live. Uh, so that's what that's what this was. Um, and I've been streaming. I mean, I was streaming cycling from very early on and now mm -hmm, I stream yeah. running here in the shed. I'm standing on my treadmill as we speak. Um, uh, and, and I think, you know, kind of Johnny and, and Steve Beckett kind of saw this and said, well, you know, why don't you do it on, um, on Zwift community live as well? Um, so that's why I've, I've started doing a little bit more now on, on Zwift community live. Um, and hopefully it'll progress and we'll do, we'll do more and more of these kind of sessions and, training sessions as well where yeah so can, yeah that's the next thing people. so Go Stephen, real yeah. quick we have this right with coach andy here right like we've got the whole sure. um you know group workout mode with coach andy for some reason it's not playing out there for weird for some weird reason but um oh it's in slow-mo it's in slow-mo that's why so we need to turn off the slow-mo but um you know group workout mode on the bike with uh with coach andy led, led by them so is that something you're looking forward to too is yeah, like so actually running absolutely. running with like you know elite runners sure. coaching people through a, sure. a group workout yeah absolutely why not i mean the the, the group workouts and and workouts as a whole are, are kind of the thing that's probably lagging behind a little bit in the moment so there are not many workouts for runners on zwift as yet you can create your own but you need to kind of know what that's you're doing that's a great question Here, um, um i'm gonna go check that out real quick Stephen. i'm gonna push the e button yeah yeah boom okay look at that tempo run, so there's a few work, there speed work repeats freak speed freak oh my goodness so but you guys are and looking all... to put more in is what uh, well zwift yeah, is looking sure, to put more in sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, and then we'll come group, hopefully we'll come group workouts in the same way that cycling has got. Um, and yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm uh, me and there's, there's plenty of other guys out there and, and a lot of guys far more experienced than I am. Um, you know, very happy to, to help people with their running, improve their form, improve their hydration, their nutrition, uh, their, their build up to half marathon marathon, you know, we can look to to have full marathon training programs, some of which will even be outside, um, you know. So we'll, we'll have a Zwift program for marathon training, and some of that will be on the treadmill within Zwift. Some of it will be in the real world. Um, I'm seeing the comments. You know, Sorry, I'm laughing. Some of the comments here. No, no, what, Zwift what? hot tubbing. <laughs> when Zwift swimming <laughs> coming. <laughs> so... Um, there's uh this is uh so is there drafting at all with the run any like no no okay I, I, do you know what well okay well i don't know is the honest answer but i don't think so no we'll have to ask a, a so. zhq I don't think, that's I don't a zhq think, yeah yeah that's a zhq I, question it, yeah i don't think there are any algorithms in running uh, yet because there's lots of talk about um incline like you know when you go up a hill on a bike 
there's no re- there's resistance on your smart trainer yeah so you feel like you're going up a hill okay on a treadmill that doesn't happen because at the moment there are no treadmills that zwift controls where they in they increase the incline or reduce the incline and there's lots of questions about safety health and safety and all this kind of stuff i know there are some other platforms that do automatically control incline what about the speed on, though, you're gonna say something? going uphill the speed going uphill yeah, well, like, do you just keep the well, consistent speed or do you slow down going uphill? At the mo- right, at the moment, there is nothing. So okay. when I run up a hill in Zwift, I can run past the cyclists. Okay. Because there's gotcha. nothing holding me back. But that yep. that that is being addressed. It's just I'm not entirely sure we all know which way it's going to go. I mean, eventually okay. smart right. treadmills will come in and, and we'll, we'll have all that. But at the moment... Because there are questions about, you know, some people saying, well, could you not have an algorithm that slows the runner down as they're going uphill in the same way that Z-Power does for cycling, yeah? Yeah, um, yeah, gotcha. But I, again, there's questions about that as well. So I'm, I don't know if that's going to happen either. Okay, so let's see a couple more questions. Lots of questions coming through. I actually love all of the interaction. We Nathan- haven't even looked at We haven't even looked at <laughs> Nathan Garrett, your runner is ready. You better run. Thanks a lot, Lee. Probably appreciate that. Um, Chris Foster says, let's see here, 9 a.m. park run, GMT tomorrow. Is that actually on? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, well, see, let me run? tell you, right, there's, a thing, there's a thing in the UK, and, and it's kind of spreading around the world. There's a few in the States, and it's, it's, a, it's a brand called Park Run, okay? And it's a 5K run. Um, at p- local parks, and there's one at pretty much every city in the UK. L- oh, there's thousands of them. That's awesome. And and so it, and it's it's free. It's free for anyone to go to. And so what what John Hancock did was he kind of said, right, okay, well I can't get to my local park run today because I've got to look after the kids or whatever. I'll create park run in Zwift. So 9 a.m. Saturday. I think actually I think it's 8:30 here uh, in in Zwift. I think. And it's called Run in the Park. Obviously, we couldn't kind of nick the branding name. But, um, yeah, so Run in the Park is the equivalent of of the park run in the UK. But they are all over the world. They're just not as kind of, you know, many. That's really cool, actually, Stephen. That's really, really cool to to take that. You know, it's the same thing where we started doing the Saturday Morning Worlds early on. Jarvis. I mean, Jarvis Island. We're doing Saturday Morning World Rides, and we got 50 people showing up for the – you know what? I don't know if there are fifty at that time, but there are plenty um, at that time showing got, up. For I've got that, a screenshot so. of me cycling with. I've got a screenshot of me cycling with seven people on the world. <laughs> That's old school. You remember those days? Old school. Yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, we were going through some of that old that old footage with Simon actually, because we're kind of doing a little bit of a history of ZCL while he was here, and I was like, dude, look okay. at this ugly video. <laughs> I was like, I was, oh my gosh, this is so bad. You're really going to show this to everybody? But um, me and the horrible audio, horrible. I mean, we've all been there. Steven, I remember old broadcasts oh, yeah, from you yeah, as yeah, well yeah. that were like, you know, the audio is just terrible. Have, You're sweating on the camera, the mic trouble. and everything. Uh, and oh uh, man. So anyways, we got more questions coming through here. Let's make sure to answer. Uh, anything that is coming through that we can, and then we'll jump into the next one that we John Hancock got here. confirms that it is nine o'clock on Saturday, nine o'clock on Saturday mornings. Gotcha. Gotcha. Paul Whiteham park run is a global thing. Yeah, it seems pretty cool. Do people manually adjust the treadmill inclination when running uphill? Well, I think that's kind of like, okay. Like you. Yeah, it is up to you. There are, there are some people uh, mentioning no names, Jason, uh, who will, tell everybody they have to they have to <laughs> change the incline or be or be damned uh, I, I mean i don't i don't change the i just cannot be bothered i mean i get plenty of elevation when i'm running outside but there are some people for whom when they go up a hill in swift they really have to press that manual incline button yeah gotcha yeah i got i i, I get it 100 percent. it's the same thing with the comments that we get that that guy's trainer is not a smart trainer and he doesn't feel the incline right now is that well i don't know if it's the same because <sighs> pace is pace though it's is that how it works okay because wattage is wattage right and as long as you're calibrated wattage is wattage right and so power is power yeah, well, as long as you as know l- 
Yeah, as long as everybody is on the same playing field, yeah? And at the moment, runners are. So there's no runners who are going up a hill in Zwift and feeling the incline, um, unless they're manually doing it, but that's their, that's their choice. It's not, it's not in game. Um, gotcha. So we're all on a level playing field. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Kenneth Morris is, is chiming in. Oh, I love it. There's a whole community here. I can see it already happening, Stephen. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving how they're all coming in and, and really excited, it looks like, about uh, running out on Zwift here. So, uh, looking it, through. Listen, so, it could be huge, Nathan. Well, we were talking huge, about this on this Zwiftcast running. a little bit. I don't want to let too much out of the bag, but, you know, there's more runners. Okay. There's a reason why. Football, your or our soccer, is a larger sport. Yeah, yeah. Ball and run, a ball and some shoes. Right? It's the it's the largest sport in the in the world. It's bigger than cycling for a reason. It's a there lot more, less encumbrance. There lot less encumbrance. There are more running activities on Strava than there are cycling activities on Strava. Yeah, and the the but, crazy thing is, is that's not how it was marketed up front. You know what I mean? No. So yeah. yeah. That's um, definitely, I'm 100% on board with you there, that there is the market out there. Now, it just needs to be, if it can be activated. That's the thing. Yeah, it's, not, let's you know, be honest. A, tre a, tre a treadmill is a big, cumbersome thing, and it's not, you know, it's not something that you kind of automatically think of as having in your house. Whereas a bike trainer, although some of them can be quite heavy, it's a lot smaller. Shipping is also a big problem for treadmills you know you, you, you don't just order one from your local amazon store and you know it's not that easy so there is an issue there but you know it, it's got to happen it's going to happen i do see the comment from kenneth there and i've seen this comment quite a lot and uh runners generally run in any element cyclists are used to winter indoor training now i agree with that a lot and i'm gonna let steven speak to this but, but what comes to my mind before I let that go is that the online world is changing how we interact though with a lot of things. And I think that this park run idea that you're seeing here being in Zwift like this and the convenience factors of it, as well as maybe benefits of indoors running that might be there with controlled environments. Now I'm not saying it's better or exclusive or anything like that. It's not this or that, but maybe a supplement that people are looking at. Steven, what you're the runner. I'm not, but those are the things that immediately come to my head. Sure. Uh, well, yeah, runners runners will run in all weather. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, there's plenty of situations, and I, and I'm one of the people who sometimes it's just not practical to run outside. You know, if if my wife's at work, I've got to look after the kids, or I've got to go and collect them from school. I can't fit in a run. Running on the treadmill is a, an easy and a, a, a much more practical way to get my run in when otherwise I just wouldn't have run at all. Um, and, you know, I can get 60 miles in in a week because I can do 20 of those miles on the treadmill with no no bother. Um, so runners do run on treadmills. They often call them the treadmill. They ha they say they hate running on them. Um, but Zwift can change that, you know. And if if you get an environment where people are engaged and they've got they, they literally have we have a community already. We have a community on Zwift, Zwift runners, go where and look at Zwift that? runners. On, where do we uh, find that? Yeah, Stephen, go uh, ahead. Where, where is that? It's, a, yeah, it's, it's just a face, f Facebook page, Zwift, search for Zwift runners, um, just like Zwift riders, Zwift runners. Um, it's it's really going on, you know, and and people get getting to know each other and it's like being in another running club. So a lot of people will tell you that the thing that kickstarted their running more than anything else was joining a running club. Well, Zwift is like your online running club. Um, and and it's growing and we know each other we get on you know it's obviously it's going to grow to the point where you know it gets a bit like the cycling page and we have arguments here and there but that's like anything in life you know <laughs> <laughs> i steer clear of that now oh i love it steven oh good stuff because uh Zwift takes the boring <laughs> treadmill running to something fun and social love it ali is saying there before zwift running my treadmill was an expensive clothes horse see then i think there's some great um I think there's some great stories there too, uh, out there. I think the treadmill is actually a, uh, more commonplace thing a lot of times than the, you know, in the niches. Now we keep talking about all these niches and the, and the, and the experiences within the niches, but if we talk about general population, I think treadmills are more common than, 
uh, smart trainers or or trainers to put bikes on. And maybe I'm wrong about that, but in my head, my right. introduction to exercise indoor is treadmill. Long before something you put a bike on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, yeah, you're prob- you're probably right. Yeah, I mean, I I I'd used treadmills long before I ever got my kicker. So, I, I guess so. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't, don't know, know if I it's mean... something to do. Do you have this? Is this is a real cultural question? Do you have bigger houses in the States? Because we have <laughs> tiny houses over here. Again, I'm not inspecting and, many and, UK houses, but yes, well, you I should, think. You should start go around to people's houses and say, you know, start measuring them up. <laughs> I need some data. I need some data. <laughs> because we've got for tiny houses. We haven't got I need some garages. data for Film My Run and Zip Community Live. I'm just going to take some measurements of this house. Can somebody get me a couple of plane tickets over to the UK so we can measure all the houses in these radiances <laughs> real quick? Because we I need think, that. Do you know data what? I think for... maybe somebody in the government, somebody in the government may have done this before. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, Lee Proudy, this is a great question, actually. Nathan Garrett, as a P1 cyclist, doesn't running hurt racers? Um, Okay. I would not schedule a lot of running at a very high end level of cycling. I would not schedule a whole lot. So, um, of running for that. But if you're in your transition period, I would say go right ahead and run, right? If you're in your break, your transition or your pre even, even your like training to train period. Yes. As soon as we get into training though, for cycling, I wouldn't be running. I'd be playing hockey or I would be now I'm talking about cyclist, pure cyclist, super fin- like beyond enthusiast. If you're an enthusiast cyclist, that's looking to be fast in local group ride and you're looking for fitness. That's a different story. But, uh, as a coach, I would say, uh, do not run for, um, for high end cycling. Uh, triathletes are a different story. They're an animal of their own that do weird things. But <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but, but we got to get that hot tub out on Zwift for those triathletes. That's for sure. So we need, um, one. how are we going to, in how are we going to incorporate swimming into Zwift? This, this is the next question, isn't it? Yeah. What I are we going to do? Is, actually, there are pools that we, okay. So we're in Canada for a Zwift event. Uh, in Quebec, and there was this amazing, amazing shop that we were at, and in the basement of the shop for the, we were on the Zwift tour in North America, 2016, and mm-hmm. we were doing the King of the Mountain Challenge thing, right? And in the basement, yeah. they had lined with Neos and Zwift stations, and they would run classes down there. But right before you got to that area, they had like a running area, and then they had a, one of those pools that push the water and it's just like a yeah, you know, yeah, 10 foot it, long yeah. pool or 12 foot long pool or something like yeah. that. That's pushing the water. And if you put a pod on your arm, I could definitely see, yeah. but I mean, how many people what, do we have the screen? Going... Do we have the screen at the bottom of the <laughs> pool? Of course, exactly. Yeah. Cause they actually, I've seen those before. I've seen it where people want to watch a screen while they swim. They've got them somewhere, but I mean, who, how many, how big is that market? How big is that market for swimming? Oh my goodness. Boss, the swim trainer is a and T plus Kenneth is on it, dude. Kenneth has one. He's got one in his basement it. already. Yeah. It looks like. I bet he has. Oh my goodness. And of course there's the mag the tax magnum, isn't there, as well. Now and we you can cycle and run on the same machine if you've got ten grand. Oh yeah, you know? that's true. That's true. The tax magnum. Whole nother world. Whole nother world. Now anyway, okay, we're going all over the place now. All right, so when's the next run? What are we doing next, Steven? When are the next when's the next time that you're doing a group run? And then when do you think is maybe the next or well, we might not have a ZCL schedule, I don't, yet, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know. I don't know when the next official ZCL, I don't know when the uh the next one of those is, but the the next group run that I am involved in that I will be streaming live on my film my run page. Um, which if it's not if my streams are not on uh Swift Community Live, they will be on my film my run page again, uh, facebook.com forward slash film my run. Um, that'll be Monday night, 7.30 UK time. Um, but if if you look on your um, Zwift mobile link and go into events, 
if you're in the States, uh, Australia, if you're in a different time zone, there will be a similar run scheduled for your time zone if you can't make the UK time 7.30. Uh, but that'll be me. I'll be involved in that. I'm, I may be leading one of the groups we have. We'll have four pace groups. So it's important to say, by the way, you know, um, in the same way that cycling does, um, we have A, B, C and D uh, pace groups. So don't be afraid to to come and join us because we're not i'm not an elite athlete and you know most of the people running on here are not elite athletes we are in, we are very keen amateur runners and some of us are quite good and some of us are a little bit slower and some of us are you know that the, there are some people who complain that they run slowly and when they run their avatar is just walking so maybe it's something that needs to be addressed but um we have a pace, a pace for everyone. That must be really demoralizing, wasn't it? If you're running and your avatar on Zwift is walking. walking. Come on, yeah. guys. Uh, yeah. Come, Come on, on yeah. guys. Come on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Woo. Come on. Okay, so. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so, Monday night. We yeah. do have, um, let's uh, let's take a look here real quick. My avatar is looking pretty noobish. Um, we got to do something about that, I think. I'm going to try and get that ticker hooked up and go run around outside with an get iPhone in my yeah, pocket, yeah, I think. Working or something, <laughs> but we need to get that moving. It looks like here. Um, again, you guys can check out Steven. He's going to be on the, uh, on Zwift community live as well as on his page. It looks like he's running live streams with Zwift my run uh, or, or film my run, film, my, film run. my run, yeah. film my run as well. Film my run.com. Um, and, uh, he's got a YouTube. He's got a, now what's up with your YouTube channel real quick. You do all oh, kinds so, of so stuff there. So I obviously before Zwift, I was running and I still run in the, I don't just exist on this treadmill in this shed. Now I do still run in the real world. So um, what I do with film, my run is um, I, I, I take my little GoPro camera on a little gimbal stick and I run in all sorts of places around the world. Um, marathons. I'm an ultra runner really. So I, I run big, long distance. Oh, we lost your audio there. Into little there we go. You're back. I, I edit my films of real world runs into little little packages and they're all available on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash film my run. So if you're interested in films of real world runs, if you're in the UK and you want to know what ultra race or what marathon to do next, go and have a look at some of my races. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. And I've been doing that for a long time. And race directors kind of email me and say, can you come and film my run? So I, awesome. you know, they give me a free... They give me a free entry to their race and I go and uh, I go and uh, film their runs. That's really cool. Right on. So, well, my guy's getting warmed up here. It looks like he's doing a nice little. He's not done anything. Over there for he? us. No, he's not really doing anything. Anything that we missed for the noob, Nathan, to get going here. We got group runs. We've got group workouts. We've got open world. We talked about how to pair. Um, you know, yeah. we talked about all the different ways to connect. Uh, anything else that you see in running that's really like apparent to you that we didn't get into there? I can't think of anything off the top of my head, Nath. Um, but okay. I know that uh, the minute the minute you click disconnect, I'll say, oh, do you know what? I yeah. really oh, should have mentioned that. Talked about but I, well, did, but I also said, and I'm so noob to runner running. Like I, okay, I well, have no clue. Maybe we don't even need to talk about. It. Maybe the runners are like, oh my gosh. The run runners will know what splits are. Like, what runners is your problem? <laughs> so I'll just leave that alone. Maybe this is different, though. Okay, what's, what's up different? with these? Like zero 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 zero. What is that all about with the with the zones? That's my zones. Is that how much time I've where, spent where, in the where zones? Are you looking, or tell, tell me where, in the where upper left, oh, upper sorry, left. My, my, yeah, yeah. My camera, my 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 own camera is covering that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's heart rate zones. So um, with with runners, what we what we tend to do is because we don't have power inside. Well, we do actually have power in, in running, but we don't talk about it. Um, uh, what we the standard way um, to measure your um, effort in in running is with your heart rate zones. So okay, so you've got um, five zones there. Um, red would be when you're anaerobic and you're killing yourself. Um, yeah, your orange is threshold zone, so you're near. You're working really hard. Um, tempo zone is your yellow zone, and then you've got uh, kind of 
endurance and I can't remember what the other one's called, but you know, just it, and they go up in increments and you set your own by what was Zwift will set yours by your max heart rate. So as long as you know what your max heart rate is, you, you put that into Zwift and Zwift will work out your zones. But why for are you. they zeros? Why is there a number in there? Oh, okay. Because um, when you're running, um, however long you spend in that heart rate zone, it will tick up in minutes. So okay, it's in minutes. if you, okay. if you, gotcha. yeah. Okay. You've got, got me. it, got it, got it, got it. I was like, what does that do when I start? I should just be running. I should just start <laughs> running. Like, why are there zeros in this? The blue, green, you've yellow, done, orange. You've done red? nothing. Because I've done, done nothing. nothing. I've done nothing. I've still done nothing. We're going to end this broadcast and I still have done absolutely nothing. <laughs> Even after I logged, I logged in. We logged into the game. In. We got it Ooh. done. Oh my goodness. All right. Last questions. Or forever hold your peace. Let's see here. Kind of like group ride. If you talk power, it's best way to confuse people. Don't talk power, Malcolm. Saying just run. Don't Chris power. Foster Don't saying. Uh, Jinx Harwood is saying run on with a hashtag. Uh oh, uh oh, things are happening here. Six a.m. EST yeah. Monday and Wednesday. Come on out with Kunis is saying that's awesome here. Zero because you haven't run, Nathan. Thanks, Malcolm, for the reminder there. Really appreciate that. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it from us. I'm not going to take any more of Stephen's time. We're going to do a couple of reminders here. But, Stephen, thanks a lot for coming on the broadcast. I appreciate it. And uh, we really no look problem. forward to everything no you guys are going to be doing with running. Cool. All right, cheers, Stephen. Have a good night, bud. Take care, buddy. All right, so that was Stephen Cousins with Film My Run. Always great to see him out there streaming. And he'll be over here on Zwift Community Live doing more and more stuff with running we're super excited about that and uh if you haven't checked out Zwift run yet i think i'm gonna have to figure out a way to do this now i can't fit a treadmill in this space but maybe we'll get outside maybe we'll get a pod on and start running with the ios or something uh we need to level this avatar up look at this guy he is such a noob i can't even handle it dude i've been level 25 on zwift cycling for like i don't even know okay and this dude's Forrest Gump and not running the other direction right now, it seems. But, I mean, this is not cool. Nathan is never the noob. What is going on here? We'll get it going. So, lots of fun. Uh, next up on ZCL is going to be, we won't be live again until next week. I believe there may be some events that Johnny has planned over the weekend with uh, some other casters, but I don't think I have Anything else going on until next week? We've got a lot going on, though, next week. A lot. Um, of, of course, we do have National Champs happening next week, Saturday. We'll have coverage of that all morning long. We're going to have yeah, – it's going to be a big day of casting. I'm not covering all of it, but we will have every race covered in one way or another. Not all of it will be ZCL, uh, but most of it will be. So, uh, as if National Championships – February 24th, uh, and it's going, you know, make sure to check out the events listing for that for all the countries that will have national championships. Uh, so that's happening. Obviously, Workout Wednesdays next week. We have a couple of new programs coming our way as well, I think with Bike Radar. So uh, some cool stuff going on there. No Zwift Quest this weekend. No Zwift Quest this weekend. Usually we do an update on Zwift Quest for Saturday, but there will be no Zwift Quest next weekend, this weekend. But there's plenty of events going on, obviously, this weekend. I think they're going to re-up next week or the week after, so uh, be on the lookout for the next Swift Quest uh, next week, not this weekend. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Great interview. Run, Nathan, run. Thanks a lot, John Hancock. Malcolm, appreciate you being here as well. Chris, all you guys, and all the comments there, really appreciate all of your interaction. Very always, I mean, we couldn't have this stuff without the viewers and your interaction with the broadcast, so we appreciate all of you. That's going to be it for me for the week from Zwift Community Live. As always, Great job. No, nobody raced today. <laughs> I can't, I, I, I'm, I'm like, I can't see, say, ride on. I feel like now. I was about to say, as always, ride on. And then I was like, oh, Zwift on? We got to figure that one out. Cheers, everybody.